Marvel at how one of Atrox's competitors was able to pack a full array of enthusiast class features into a board that was only slightly oversized, stating that fitting all of those components into a standard 80x motherboard would have required a miracle or more PCB layers. The standard 80x lower price V270 Supercarrier is even better equipped in some ways, but is it the miracle we were looking for? The ways in which the supercarrier is better equipped than its market competitor include the addition of the Aquantius APC 108 5GB/S network controller, a second Thunderbolt 3 port, extra SAEA port for a total of 10 and a third M.2 slot. Pass Rock reduces its price compared to that top competitor by using cheaper audio and WIFI solutions. A cheaper heat sink set covering the less elaborate voltage regulator, fewer buttons and switches, and no voltage meter checkpoints. The Z270 Supercarrier also lacks U.2 connections, although these can be acquired via M.2 adapter cards. Amazement further subsides when looking more closely at the I/O panel which has no actual USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports but instead feeds both Type-C connectors from the single Thunderbolt 3 controller. Pathrock's competitor chose instead to connect the same controller's second port to a type of connection, with all the flexibility and limitations that go with it. The trio of Ethernet ports make some sense when considering that some users who lack 5GB slash S hardware will still want to team the other two ports. The fourth network device, 800.11ac, is provided by Intel's 433MB slash SWIFI slash Bluetooth combo card in M.2 PE format. Four of the chipset's six SATA ports include PCI links for SATA Express, which at this point is primarily used by a small number of enthusiasts to host bay-mounted USB 3.1 front panel controllers. You'll still find these at some vendors, and ASRock used to include one in some of its previous generation high-end boards. The thing I always hated about those adapters is that they waste the SATA ports. Worse still, the two ports that are disabled by placing the PCI drive in M.2 slot are among those that don't have SATA Express. The Z270 Supercarrier connects for stainless steel reinforced graphics slots to the CPU 16 planes via a PLX 8747-48 lane PCI 3.0 switch. The slots automatically switched from X16X0X16X0 to X8X8X8X8 mode when cards are added to the second and fourth graphics card slots. Graphics cards aren't normally forced to fight for bandwidth from a PLX8747, since XLI and Crossfire requires every card to receive the same data. This smart switch simply repeats that data to all four slots simultaneously. Yet all cards are then limited to X8 mode, leaving the CPU side of the controller needing only 8 lanes of CPU bandwidth. Since three-way graphics is a more popular option, Pat Rock mentions that the fourth slot can still use its A planes for an alternative purpose, such as a slot mounted them dot to drive. Pat Rock noticed that most of us don't like crushing our front panel audio cables flat against the connector and installing the bottom graphics card, 
So the company added a second HD audio header with right angle pins. That's also a good way to lessen the length required for that cable to reach its header, which has been a problem on various cases ever since companies started putting the audio connector on the motherboard's bottom rear corner. Hasrock does not offer a similar solution for the bottom edge fan connectors. However, only two of the fan connections are capable of voltage-based fan controls, but both of those are also rated to 1.5A for better support of BIOS pumps. I'd suggest using one of these for case fans via the splitter, so long as your case has three pin fans. Similarly builder friendly is the pair of USB 3.0 connectors located north of the top slot to avoid collisions with even the longest graphics cards. Path Rock connects these via a hub, so all four ports are forced to share bandwidth. Path Rock sends the matching chip set port to an internal mounted USB 3.0 type of port. Very slim by high end motherboard standards. The Z270 Supercharger includes only for FATA cables, in addition to required air cell I bridges and a pair of WIFI antennas. Still, it's nice to see that ASRock included both an HB style and traditional flexible bridge, in addition to the mandated 3-way and 4-way XLI versions.